I'm in my happy place. the sun do 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 what a great spot and the stars last night were incredible as always they're always incredible but when you're out here with no light pollution you see all of them in the Milky Way it's like we were walking around a planetarium good morning good morning my friends how are you good morning my man how'd you sleep Always good. Always good? Yeah, we're well, trying to get you a cup of tea, coffee. These sourdough pancakes? They are. From my uh, buddy Crawford. Gave us some starter. A little oatmeal. Gotta have fiber. <laughs> Fiber's always good. I think I'm dreaming. Sourdough pancakes for breakfast? Usually I'm eating Nutella on a tortilla. <laughs> this is way better. Pancake cheers, everybody. Yeah. Pancake cheers, pancake cheers. Oh wait, look, it's Larkin. Hi. When did, when did you show up? Oh, last night. Last night. Treasure hunting for friends. So this is one of my dear friends, Larkin, and he happens to be in the area flying his paraglider. Oh, yeah. And he came and found me last night, dude. And look at us now. Look Hanging at us smiling. For sourdough pancakes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Marsha, thank you so much for everything. You are amazing. Can't wait to see you again soon. Absolutely, you gotta come to Boulder. We'll do it. You'll do it. And um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm taking your husband. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, he'll be so excited. All right, have good. Such a good time. All right, thank have you. Have fun. Have a wonderful day. Are you excited to ride, bud? I am always excited to ride, but I'm, I am taking the e-bike today. Oh yeah, okay. I but... gotta come back up. No, no crashes, no flatties. No oh, flatties, no whammies. That's right, none of those things. We're gonna have a great morning. No Let's flatties. do it, Alan. No flatties, no whammies. Woo! Yee hoo! Oh, it's another beautiful day on planet Earth. And I've got a new riding partner for at least a little bit. I sure love starting the day on a downhill. This is great. Alan's got that e-bike. He's pacing me up these hills. Whoo! Man, those things move. Aren't you coming with me She's all the way? I'm not going. I am going back uphill. <laughs> that was that was a good seven mile. No, let's see. 7.9 miles downhill. Right on. So that was some good downhiller. Yeah, it was. Well, and now I'm going to go some good uphiller. That's right, yeah. buddy. So, Thank you again for everything. Oh, that was God, such was a good super, surprise. Super. And I'll see you in Boulder. That's right. You better come to Boulder. I'm going to go get one of those Dozeritos. Yeah, yeah, you got to do it, man. Have Adios, a good one, brother. Adios. See you later. Adios. What a great guy. What a wonderful couple. They've been married. 43 years I think and we stayed up late last night talking and you know they were unable to have children but uh, they sound like they're very involved in the community in Gunnison where they're from and Big Brothers Big Sisters programs and you can tell that they they love caring for people they love helping people and they got into biking and they follow the Tour Divide race and they come up there every year and feed the racers and the, the tourists coming through and Hearts of gold, absolute hearts of gold. And meeting people like that just builds my faith in humanity. Knowing that there are people out there like Alan and Marsha just makes me feel safer. Makes me feel like, yeah, we got this, humanity. There are still so many good people 
on this planet. The majority of the people on this planet are good. And when I see them, it really just reinforces that. And uh, so cool that he came out and rode with me this morning. We had a great little downhill bomber session for seven miles and uh, it's great. Now I feel fueled and recharged and my heart and soul are happy and heading off now toward uh, Del Norte. I think the locals call it Del Norte, which is just a horrible bastardization of uh, the Spanish language, but that's all right. And uh, this is a part of Colorado I've never really seen before. Look at these like canyon walls and stuff. This is usually what I see in Utah, but we got it here too, I guess. <laughs> not windy today, at least not yet. It's completely still and I love it. Heading up another pass right now, Carnero Pass. I don't think it's too big. We'll be up and over this in no time. Good morning cows, how are you? All right, made it to the top of Carnero Pass. 10,166 feet, just a little baby pass. 10,000 is like the right height. It's, uh, if you go up to like 13, 14, then you notice there's not much oxygen in the air and the breathing becomes pretty difficult. But 10,000, all good. Well, that's, it's all good for a guy from Boulder who lives at 5,500 feet, but uh, it's pretty mild. are some serious canyon walls. Reminds me of the scene in The Never Ending Story when Atreyu has to go through the arches or something and he has to believe in himself. <laughs> Looks just like this. Or at least in my mind it does. Be confident. Be confident. Run Atreyu, run! Run Atreyu! Day. Very caliente. I am really loving this part of Colorado. It reminds me of Utah a little bit and especially of Baja. These mountain buttes and vistas and piles of rocks out here. It's very majestic. Definitely a part of my state I've never seen. It's good looking. Colorado, you impress me every day. If I ever wanted to live in the middle of nowhere, this might be the spot. Check out this little tiny house. Perfect size, big windows. Looks like it has a wood burning stove. It's surrounded by all this amazing beauty. Maybe I could pull that off someday. Not now, maybe later in life though. I like Boulder too much to leave. I love the community. All the friends I grew up with are there. My family, my mama. My brothers are in Colorado. Yep. But I do see the allure of living out here. For sure.
This is one of the more fun roads I've ridden in Colorado. Our dirt roads are so nice that they're kind of boring. But this got, has some whoop de doos and it's, uh, you know, a little more interesting. I like it. into the town of Del Norte, Del Norte. And I saw the creek and I was like, yep, it's time to go into the washing machine. This is a pretty sweet spot and it's a Saturday. So there's lots of other people here as well. And uh, yeah, this is the place to be in Del Norte. I've already ridden like 65 miles and it's 2 p.m. I think this might be the end of the day for me. I'm at a restaurant in Del Norte, and I'm gonna give you three seconds to guess what type of food I am eating. One, two, three. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Frijoles for the win. I just found a treasure. This is a Palisade peach, and these are famous all over Colorado. It's a place called Palisade that grows these awesome peaches. And instead of ice cream today, I'm going for a little bit of hot Colorado homegrown yumminess. Look how juicy it is. It is a beautiful evening to have some gas station pizza for dinner right there. But that's not the exciting part of where I am right now. Look at this. Beach front property or river front property. There are some times on a bike tour when you're really just pleased with yourself and you get to a moment like this and it's a beautiful evening and you have plenty of food and water and flat ground to put your tent and your body feels pretty darn good where you're just like, yeah, I'm doing it. This is great. This is one of those moments and I'm cherishing it for sure. Yeah, baby. Oh, no. 